Welcome back to New Garden Road. It's where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate you. Today I'm going to be transplanting some asparagus. I planted this from bare root about six years ago. I'm hoping that it's real established and I'll be able to dig it up in clumps, almost like a piece of sod. Probably going to be thicker than that. It's the first time I've tried to transplant some established asparagus. It'll be a little bit of trial and error. Let's jump into it and see how it goes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the frame of this raised bed. And from there, I'm just going to try to dig down, get underneath the asparagus crowns as best I can. And then I'll transplant it into a brand new 4x8 raised bed that I just built. What I've done is I've established a raised bed along the fence line, on the east fence line of my property that I think is going to be just perfect. It's going to get good exposure, there's really good soil depth there, and it's going to be on the perimeter so it shouldn't really be in the way out of kind of line of sight, more of like a background plant. And I think that'll be a much better location. One of the tricky parts about growing asparagus for me has been choosing the right location. Generally you're supposed to put it on the north side of your garden. It can shade out other plants. It gets easily six feet tall in the summertime. The place that I put it wasn't really the best. It was kind of on the back side of my garden on the south side. I didn't really have a problem with it shading out other plants, but what I did find was that it was kind of in the way and being that it was centrally located in my backyard I just didn't really like the way it looked. I was able to get all those asparagus in the bed. I gave them a good drench of liquid seaweed, about two and a half gallons. Poured that all over the bare roots after I got them set in the bed and then I covered it up with that garden soil that I had. One other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and top dress it with some soil conditioner. It's like some souped up compost. I like to do that seasonally for the asparagus bed. Hopefully I'll get some asparagus this spring. I don't know, probably gonna take it a little bit easy on it, make sure it gets established real well. I'm super excited that I was able to do this and finish this project. I've got three brand new raised beds. I hope you're inspired and I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoy watching the video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please leave me a question or comment below. And if you like what you see and you wanna see more of it, please subscribe to my page. If you know somebody out there you think might dig it, please recommend it to them. Happy gardening, y'all. One of the tricky parts about getting asparagus <laughs> Yeah. I always forget this word for some reason. And I still can't remember it. Okay, here it is. It's established. That's the word. Jesus. Alright, that's it. It was not easy. What I found out is I needed a lot of elbow grease. But you know, you use that uh, transplanter shovel and you try to get under there, pull up those roots in a clump. The spirits. Let's see if this is any good.